Hello there, this is John B, Software Evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching another Jscape MFT Server tutorial. In today's video, we'll show you how to set up a web file transfer service. A web file transfer service will enable your users to carry out file transfers without having to install a file transfer client. All they'll need is a web browser like Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, or Safari. To set up a web file transfer service, log in to the Jscape MFT Server Manager. Go to Server, Settings, Web. Tick the HTTP on host checkbox to enable HTTP based web file transfers. Note that you can also enable secure HTTPS file transfers but let's just use HTTP for now. Click Apply. Jscape MFT Server supports multiple domains, so you'll still need to enable the HTTP service on specific domains. Select a domain and click Edit. Go to the Services menu and click Add. Choose HTTP S for the service protocol. We only want to enable HTTP for now, so let's just uncheck HTTPS. And with that, we've now enabled an HTTP web file transfer service on the MFT Server 1 domain. Let's now give it a try. Let's fire up another web browser and enter the IP address of our web file transfer server. We need to specify a domain, username, and password. To upload a file, click the Add button. Select the file or files you want to upload. Just navigate into directories that hold your files and select. You can select multiple files if you want. As soon as you're ready, click Upload. You now see the newly uploaded files in the bottom panel. You can do many things with these files. You can compress them in a zip file and then download. You can download a single file, delete files, email files. You can also create a new directory and navigate into that directory. You can even run a search. For more information about web file transfers, click the links in the description. That's it for today. Join us again next time for another Jscape MFT Server tutorial.